I am a Catholic, but I have nothing but respect for my Protestant brothers and sisters, and I have close friends and family in love with our Lord who profess the Protestant faith. I am a Catholic for many reasons, including that I believe it is the Church that Jesus Christ established. While I love God's Word, the Bible, and I admire many aspects of the Protestant faith, I cannot accept the doctrine of sola scriptura, and here's why. Number one, no Christian ever taught this for the first 16 centuries of Christianity. Number two, the first generations of Christians did not have the New Testament. The New Testament was written between the years 50 AD and 120 AD, and the official canon of scripture was not defined until the Council of Rome in 382 AD. During the majority of Christian history, most people were illiterate and very few had access to the Bible. Number three, without an authoritative church to interpret scripture, Protestantism has divided into over 30,000 registered denominations. Within five years of his 95 Thesis, Martin Luther complained saying, there are almost as many sects and beliefs as there are heads. Division is the unavoidable fruit of solar scriptura and Jesus prays for perfect unity. Number four, if scripture is infallible, as all Christians believe, then the church must also be infallible since a fallible cause cannot produce an infallible effect. The church, guided by the Holy Spirit, wrote the New Testament and the church, guided by the Holy Spirit, defined its canon. Number five, scripture calls the church the pillar and foundation of truth. The church is united in doctrine, not because of its members, often despite of its members, but because of the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Number six, scripture never teaches sola scriptura, which makes the doctrine of sola scriptura self-contradictory. Number seven, an infallible book cannot be effective without an infallible interpreter. The doctrine of sola scriptura does not work because it is not practical, logical, historical, or biblical. Jesus is the wisest of all wise men, and he said that a wise man builds his house on a rock, on a strong foundation that can sustain the storms. There's been many storms throughout the 2,000 year history of his church, but Jesus has stayed true to his word and to his bride. The gates of hell and division have not prevailed against his church, and he remains with us as promised.